In the previous video, you watched a step-by-step -step introduction to referencing. This video reviews text references and shows how selected referencing styles differ. You will also learn more about formatting a few reference list entries. By now you know that you always have to acknowledge the sources you used in your academic writing. The way in which you present this acknowledgement depends on your prescribed referencing style. Many referencing styles exist around the world. Well-known styles include Harvard, the American Psychological Association style, known as APA, and also footnote styles used by law practitioners. Each of these styles has certain formulas or procedures for text references and reference list entries. Before we focus on how some of these styles differ, let's recap on text references, also known as citations. When you use a statement made by another author, you insert a text reference in the sentence. This is a shortened version of the entry in the reference list. The purpose of a text reference is to provide the reader with proof of the source of your information without adding all the details of the source in your text. You can place a text reference at the beginning or in the middle of a sentence. In these cases, the author's surname usually forms part of the sentence. A text reference can also be placed at the end of the sentence, before the full stop. In this case, the author's surname falls within the brackets. You should consider the placement of a text reference carefully. When the author's surname forms part of your sentence, you prioritize the author and your own voice takes a step back. When the text reference is inserted at the end, you make space for your own voice. Look at these two examples. According to Healy, 2011, page 17, patients need to know that they can trust and rely on healthcare practitioners to address their problems. In this sentence, the student is simply paraphrasing Healy. As patients feel vulnerable and frail, they need to know that they can trust and rely on healthcare practitioners to address their problems. Healy, 2011, page 17. In the second example, the student refers to patients' vulnerability in addition to Healy's statement. This shows how the writer has integrated his or her understanding with the knowledge of the author. It is crucial that there's a reference list entry for every single text reference. As Healy is one of the sources that the student used, all the details of this source must be included in the reference list. Each referencing style has its own guidelines in terms of text references and the reference list entries. These guidelines are usually available on the STYLES website or from your faculty librarian. We are now going to take a closer look at the guidelines of a version of the Harvard STYLE and the APA STYLE. These text references were formatted according to a version of Harvard. As you can see, the author's surname is included, the year of publication and relevant page number, separated by a colon. According to this Harvard version, Page numbers must always be included in text references. Text references in the APA style differ slightly. As you can see, when a text reference is inserted in the beginning or middle of a sentence, the page number is separated from the author and date. When a text reference is inserted at the end of the sentence, the sequence of information is similar to that of Harvard, but it looks different. Note the two commas the letter P, and the full stop. According to the APA style, page numbers are only inserted if the information you used is on a specific page in the source. If you refer, for example, to an author's general outlook on a certain matter, only the author and date of publication is needed. The reference list is an important section of any academic document. When compiling a reference list, you have to adhere to the style guidelines and pay attention to every small detail. This is a reference list according to the Harvard referencing style. Note the format of a journal article entry. Can you see that the second and third author are separated by an ampersand? Then the publication year and the title of the journal article follows. Next is the title of the journal in italics, the volume of the journal, the number, a colon, and lastly the page numbers. Note the full stop at the end. 
This is a reference list according to the APA 6th edition referencing style. Note the format of a journal article entry. Both styles list the authors in the same way, but look at the indent of the APA style. The date is in brackets. The title of the article follows and the name of the journal is also in italics. The volume and page numbers look slightly different. The colon is absent. I'm sure you get the picture. Just like a journal article has a certain format according to a referencing style, so do websites, videos, books and newspaper articles, among others. The good news is, you do not need to know these formats by heart. Whether it is Harvard, APA or any other style, all you need to do is apply the selected style's guidelines.